soft, crumbly, tasty pastry and a fantastic corned beef mash onion filling. That is delicious. Hi guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today we're going to make corned beef pasties. Now it's actually corned beef, mashed potato and onion inside a pastry casing like a Cornish pasty. Easy to make guys, so let's show you how to do this. Okay, peel, cut, dice your potatoes, cover them with water and boil them in the usual manner with a pinch of salt. When they're boiled, we need to drain our potatoes before mashing them. So get our potatoes drained. Using the same potato water, put back in our pan and then we want to add our onion. So add our onion to that and then we're just going to lightly blanch our onions to take that rawness out. Now this has only taken a couple of minutes guys, you know. All we're going to do is take that rawness out of our onions. So blanch them for about two minutes, two to three minutes, no more than that. And then what we need to do guys, we need to mash our potatoes. Now you can mash them any which way you want, but I'm using a potato ricer. I prefer to mash my potatoes with a potato ricer and not the hand masher. This gives a better result. Okay, so we're gonna put some of our potatoes in our potato ricer. And then we're just going to give it a, a squashing through. Easy as that. Now I'll do that with the rest of the potatoes. Okay guys, we're going to go in with a knob of butter. Now all we're going to do is just give that a little bit of a mashing in there. Now you can use milk if you want. Make it a bit wetter. Okay. In with a pinch of black pepper guys. In with a little splash of milk. Give that all a mixing through. That's nice and steady. Just drain our onions. When our onions are drained, add them to our mashed potato. Get that in there, give it a stir in. Nice mix through. And then what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna take our corned beef, open our tin of corned beef, take the key off, take the key off there. Open up the corned beef. Right guys, there is absolutely no reason to chop this corned beef up. Just put it straight in our, our mix. Doesn't matter how you get it in there, just get it in. So that's our corned beef. Right, the reason why we don't need to chop it up is because we're just going to mash it in there anyway. So just get it all mashed in. Mash it through with our mashed potato. Get it all fully incorporated in there. Okay, now what I like to do, I like to go in with a little bit of Worcester sauce. So just a little splashing of Worcester sauce. Stir that in there. And that's our corned beef filling made. All we got to do now is just let it cool down. Because that's quite warm with the mashed potatoes. So we'll just put that to one side. Right, this is going to be a very quick pastry, okay? There's our flour in a bowl. What a good pinch of salt. 
And then we want to add our shortening. So we get our shortening in there. And then we're going in with our marge. Now this is butter flavoured marge. Now you can use butter, but you know, the marge gives it a nice crust. Then all we need to do guys is we need to get our hands in. And we're going to give that a little mixing up and turn it into breadcrumbs. Now like I say, this is a basic, basic pastry. Very, very basic. Now guys, if you have a food processor, you can whack it all in the food processor and it will be done in seconds. There we are guys, that's good enough. What we need to do now is put a well there and add our water. And then all we're going to do is bring our water in until we make our pastry dough. There we go guys, that is our pastry dough made. That is very easy. This is a very basic short crust pastry dough. Makes a lovely pastry. There we go. So that's our pastry made. So what we're going to do, we're just gonna push it down Right guys, what you can do with this, you know, you can cover this in cling film, put it in the fridge, or you can actually take your pastry and cover it in cling film and put it in the fridge. And that's what I'm going to do because there's not enough room to put this bowl in. Okay, there's some cling film. And what we're going to do guys, we're going to put our pastry on that cling film. So we got our pastry on the cling film. All we need to do now is give it a wrapping. So put your cling film around your pastry. Now, by putting the cling film on, we're not gonna dry it out in the fridge. So just give it a little bit of a shaping round into a, a sort of a round. There we go. Now that will be easier to roll out when we take it out of the fridge. So all we need to do now is put our pastry in the fridge. This is the pastry that's been in the fridge and we're going to use this for our corned beef pasties. And all we're going to do is put a little bit of flour actually on our work surface. I reckon that that should be enough. So take our pastry, put our pastry on our work surface. Then all we're going to do guys, is we're going to roll it out. Right guys, we want to roll this out to about two or three millimeters, okay. Okay, to make our pastry then, to make a pastry cutter, okay, we need to cut this to about 
17, 18 centimeters in diameter. Now, not everybody has uh, an 18, 17, 18 centimeter diameter cutter. So I use a tub like this, you know, it's got quite a firm top on there, which is the correct size. And all you do is press it down on your pastry. Now, if it doesn't go all the way through, just cut round it with a knife. Okay guys, there's seven and you normally get eight out of this. Okay, so we need to be taking this out of here nice and steady and then we'll re-roll that to make another disc. So all we need to do is take our disc and just put to one side so we can roll out this next one and re-roll. Now you're probably going to get two out of this actually. Now we always work on the theory of eight. Can't be having an extra pasty. Value for money. That's one. And that's two. You know, we're probably close to another one actually. Okay guys, so all we need to do now is line up our pasty bases. This is egg wash, okay? It's egg wash, it's one egg and some milk. And that gives us our egg wash. Now what we need to do guys, we need to take a little bit of egg wash, but not much. And we need to just go around the outsides of our pasties you know and it is very little we do not want to make this pastry soggy on the end as it'd be just too hard to crimp up so nice and steady a little bit of egg wash around the sides that's our glue if you like okay and then what we're going to do we're going to take a spoonful of our mix and chuck it in the middle of each pasty base now of course guys you can weigh all this out if you want but you know you can see with your eyes really try and get them all even that's our corned beef and our pasty all we got to do now is bring over the top of the pastry and squash it down just give it a little gentle squash like that Nice and easy guys, straight over the top of all your filling and squash it down. Try not to squash the filling out because it might bust open. And for crimping our edges, thumb down, fold over, thumb down, fold over, thumb down, fold over, all the way round to the end and that's our pasty made here's another one see if we can get a better better angle on it thumb down fold over okay and then fold over and then fold over Fold over your thumb, fold over your thumb, thumb down, fold over. I don't know if that's coming out on camera actually. There we go. Pasty done. Right, do that with all the pasties. Okay guys, what I need to do now is a couple of holes in the top of each pasty to let it breathe and then all we do 
is transfer our pasties to a baking sheet so that's our pasties on there guys and then what we do we give it a little egg wash just give it a little egg wash on there now that's going to put a little bit of colour on now what you could do you could egg wash this twice you know and don't forget this is egg and milk mixed together all right this is going to give it that a light glaze on here okay now what you can do you can glaze it up like this let it dry on and glaze again and you will get a thicker glaze but i don't really want a thicker glaze i think it'll be enough there with ours guys this is straightforward from now you know all our um, corned beef mashed potato onion mix inside our filling is already cooked so all we're doing now is cooking the pastry casing now you know you can cook it for about 20 minutes 25 minutes but if you want to go darker cook for a little bit longer but the longer you cook the drier the pastry so I would say look at about 20 minutes first and then keep checking from there see how you want your pasty to look here we are guys pasties made oh, oh, oh look at those right guys all we got to do is transfer them to a rack to cool okay guys <laughs> Let's cut one in half and show you the inside. Oh, crumbly, crumbly. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Mm, a bit warm, but. Oh, a bit hot soft crumbly tasty pastry and a fantastic corned beef mash onion filling that is delicious now guys if you like what we're doing don't forget smash that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video <laughs> amazing